Hello ladies and gentlemen, Excellentory here and welcome back to another video. Now, I hope all of you are doing well because I am as always. And in today's video, we're going to be making the most realistic flight plan possible on Infinite Flight. Now it's worth noting that Infinite Flight flight plans have come an incredibly long way since you know the first days of the simulator. Especially in the last five years it's come a very long way. So we're gonna do we're gonna do a few. So the first one we're gonna do is a very basic flight, and we're gonna go down to Gibraltar, which is right there, and uh, we're gonna depart from Gatwick. So the first thing I always do is I click on the airport and I do that. You go back on the airport, okay, and you click on it and you go to the proc button or well meant for procedures. Um, so the current wind. So if you click on runways as well. Now we aren't on a live server right now, but when you're on a live server, it will generally show you in green and red where the winds are. So we're going to assume that runway 26 left is the active runway. So I'm just going to put my nav on that now anyway. You shouldn't always do this. Um, it's just, I'm just doing it for showing you guys you can do that. Then we're going to select on departures. Now for Gibraltar, we sort of want to be heading south-ish, maybe southwest at a push. So we're going to look on the airport and we're going to go down to south and southwest. So there's west or south. So I think this one is probably our safest bet. Um, perhaps, and uh, the others don't really look any good. And that one sort of goes along too much. So we sort of want to be heading south. So you're going to select that and then you're going to add it to your flight plan. So once you've done that, you sort of need to think that, well, look, we're heading to uh, down here to Gibraltar, so that's our end destination. Now, this is a little trick I have. So you click on Gibraltar and you press the plus button. And that's obviously the direct route. So what we can do now is we just select a couple flight waypoints near that. So that one I'll do. And then we've got to select maybe that one will be quite nice down there. And we've got to just keep coming along and just select a few near that path. And then once you get near the airport like I am, we can go back onto your map and you can just remove the airport. And you can see here that we've effectively got not far off a direct route down here to Gibraltar. Now, by clicking again back on Gibraltar Airport, you can go onto your procedures and you can see that there is only an approach setting. And that is here for the runways. Now, Gibraltar is famous for its approach going into runway 9, which is one I'm currently using right now. So we'll select runway 9. And you can see maybe we're a bit far out. So we'll just select one more nearby waypoint. And then we've got runway 9 on here. We can select that. And we can choose, do we want just the Vectors to Final or the IAF? And we want the IAF. So we're going to add that to our flight plan. And that is our flight plan now going from Gatwick to Gibraltar. Now you'll notice when we zoom in at to this specific waypoint, it's got an altitude set for 1500 feet. So obviously you can choose the altitudes along your flight. So now let's try it for a different flight. Let's go for more of a long haul flight and let's get the aircraft necessary. So we'll take, let's do, um, yeah, we'll do this. So we'll do the British Airways. I did this flight myself the other day took about 10 hours and we're going to head down to Miami and we're going to head to London Heathrow now I want to say I can't remember where my aircraft was parked but I think it was here um, but that doesn't matter so we're going to head here and we're going to do a transatlantic one because not all the people get this right with the transatlantic flights and I've actually got a feeling that it's not going to have the paths on for us is it Let's go have a look. Oh, it has. Perfect. The, the paths are there. I did worry for a minute there. So we're going to zoom in on the aircraft and we're going to add Miami as our first waypoint. I always do that. It's just precaution. Okay, so we're going to select on Miami, go to our procedures, and we're going to actually minimize that again because we don't need that. We're going to go into our procedures and find our departure. Um, we're going to use runway 8 right. And of course, we're going to be heading north. Um, unless there's a northeast button, which might be there, we go. Northeast will be better for us. Now, it might be worth noting in my head mentally because I know I'm going across uh, the um, or the Atlantic Ocean. I want to be using one of these specific flight paths, so we kind of want to head up towards them. And I think the one in the middle, Snaggy, is the best one for me. 
So we're going to select that and we need runway 8 right is the one we chose, add that to our flight plan. So this is our, it's called a, ooh, um, a SID, Standard Instrument Departure, I want to say that stands for, and that will be our departure path. So once we take off, we'll just press nav and the aircraft will um, guide us on our way. So we're going to go then. Now we can't use the trick, well we can, but we need to do it to this airport place here I want to say because um, what I'm going to use is one of these up here so we'll zoom in and we'll see is there any oh there's one just on the edge there we can probably clank and there's one there and there's one there any more and we'll just take that one so we're going to go of course so we'll go here and we'll just remove that airport so okay we're going up the states of America that's actually quite a nice looking flight path there and we're going to now look along here and see which path is most appropriate for us. So we sort of want to come out along here. So probably this green one. So we're just going to add V. And that should bring us out here where B is. So this is a pretty good path. Okay, so that's a pretty nice path. So now we're going to select Heathrow. And we're just going to continue that trick we had going on. Uh, but I'm going to keep it flying straight just for a little bit longer than I need. And then we're going to come down a little bit more harsh. Um, and we're going to sort of face the airport a bit more face on. So Heathrow's got a really big thing. So now there are two different things. So we got the arrival, which is the first one you want. Always arrival before approach. And we're coming in from the west. Now I specifically tried to get it in coming in directly from the west. And you can see here when we add that to our flight plan, it's going to miraculously appear. Also worth noting, we should probably remove the airport that we added for that little trick. And we're coming in so at the moment we're flying up and then across the atlantic really nice and really smoothly now we don't have our approach into heathrow yet so we're going to get the approach and we're going to see so obviously runway 27 left will be the one we want now luckily at heathrow we can choose the runways we want now i will be obviously using an ios approach now we're going to click on that and it's worth noting we're in a big a380 so will this turn here be really appropriate to do on final no it won't so we're looking for the one that went into that waypoint and i can't remember what it's called i think it's big there we go so we got him so we're going to also make sure auto tune ios is ticked that will allow you to use your navel we've chosen the wrong one that's easy easy to fix so we're going to remove the airport and we're going to remove the approach and we're going to do it again so we'll just go back onto the airport procedures approach uh, we're on the ILS setting and we're going from big. Add to flight plan. Okay. So that's because... Ah, right. Apologies for that. That's my fault. We need to just come out here. And we can, I believe now, when we go into wheeled or big. Sorry. Sometimes you need to do it manually just like we've done it there. Procedure. Uh, approach. There we go. ILS. There you go, and now it's auto done it. Apologies for that, guys. So sometimes you do need to do that. doesn't always do it, but there we go. So that is our flight plan. So what will happen is you'll take off, um, you know, and you'll immediately go right, and then you'll head up north along the coast of the United States. Um, and then we're going to go across the transatlantic path here. Um, we're going to come in here, and we're going to go down quite steeply you know once we hit ireland we're going to head quite south and we want to come from below the airport i do you can also come from above it's also standard but if both runways are being used for landing you don't want to cut across that to get to 27 left it's easier to come in from the south and then just make that last turn just above big and hill airport which is egkb and then you can come in so yeah, that's how you can do a realistic flight plan on Infinite Flight in 2025. I hope you guys found this useful. Um, if you guys want more flight plan videos, I can do them. Let me know down below. Please like and subscribe if you're new as well. Good night.